Well, hey there, everybody. This is Kelly at Envy Soap Works, and I'm getting ready to work on a really fun little soap today. I'm going to be doing um, a custom order for one of my customers, Jennifer. She um, wanted to have a vegan soap made as a gift for her daughter. She wants it scented in a pineapple fragrance. She had the um, colors picked out and also um, the design as well. So uh, right down to like how I'm going to swirl it. So what I'm going to be doing today is trying to do my best to accomplish um, the soap that she had envisioned. And she is wanting a very classic um, pineapple design. Here I have sunflower yellow, which I'm going to be um, doing kind of like an in the pot swirl with the yellow and some white. And it is going to be um, layered then with a little bit of this very beautiful shimmery coppery brown. And I'm going to be doing a hanger swirl kind of like up and down to kind of pull the brown up to represent, you know, like the little brown, um, you know, like the little pineapple look. And then on the top she wants green. Now what I think I'm going to do for that is actually do some piping. I have a um, Wilton leaf tip on here. We're going to see how that works out. Um, if it doesn't work out the way that I want it, I'll just kind of spike, you know, do like a really spiky textured top. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, the reviews of this white pineapple fragrance say that it um, accelerates, which is fine because since I'm going to be doing kind of a layered soap, that's what I want. I want a thicker soap. So that will be fine if it does that. And let's see, my recipe, the oils and butters for this soap are olive palm, coconut, cocoa butter, shea butter, rice bran oil, almond oil, and castor oil. And I think I said this already, but this is a vegan soap, so I'm not using goat milk powder or um, Tessa silk. So my additives in here are uh, white kale and clay, a little bit of colloidal oatmeal. And um, in my life solution, I have some aloe vera and some sodium lactate and some sugar. All right, so I just kind of buzzed up my um, clay there. And I'm going to be doing my normal um, coconut milk here as I get to emulsification. Let me scrape all this out. Now this fragrance, um, the pineapple fragrance smells amazing. I've had this fragrance for a really long time. Gosh, probably I've had it for a year and it smells just like a fresh pineapple, but I just haven't, um, I just haven't got around to doing it. So when she said she wanted a pineapple soap, I was really excited because I knew that I had this fragrance. And honestly, I think the reason that I haven't done it is because the last pineapple scent that I did, it was pineapple jasmine. It um, caused some crazy rising and my soap ended up getting like this really gritty texture and kind of separating a little bit. So I don't know. I think somewhere in the back of my mind, I um, blamed the pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this emulsified and add my coconut milk. Okay, so I have the soap to a nice uh, emulsification, possibly even a light, light trace. And the, um, the custom order is only for a one pound loaf. So it's a little small um, loaf like this. Um, but since I had two um, enough for, you know, a two pound batch. I'm going to do two of the little one pounds, so I'll have a few for um, my shop. And that way if one turns out really crappy, maybe she'll like the other one. So I'll let her decide which one she likes best. I'm going to be doing two different, um, you know, two different 
soaps. I'm not going to do the same design for both. So that is my plan. So now what I'm going to do is get my color split up. pineapple colors and um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get my fragrance in and hope that I don't have any issues with it. I'll go ahead and start with um, the green here and um, man this fragrance smells so good. Really really does. If you are a pineapple fan this is the closest thing that I have smelled as far as the pineapple fragrance to like a real freshly cut pineapple. It's really quite amazing. So I'm hoping that um, the scent is going to stay throughout the cure. We shall see, but it's just a perfect, really sweet, um, summery fragrance. So, so far I don't see any issues. My batter is staying really nice and fluid. There's no rising that is taking place. So, very nice. Now there is some vanillin in this um, fragrance. There is 1.60% um, of vanillin. So, there may be a little bit of discoloration with this, but um, I think with the colors and the design, if it does, it's really not going to have that much impact on um, the colors that are that we have here. So, it should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this all mixed and then we will start our pour. So the fragrance oil um, behaved a whole lot better than I was expecting. Um, I really was expecting quite a bit of acceleration, but so far my batter is really quite fluid. So I may have an issue with um, the layers that I'm wanting to get. So um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe start with the other one that I had um, for... <coughs> myself and I'm just going to do um, a simple kind of drop pour with the hanger swirl for mine here. my little, isn't this cute, the littlest hanger tool you've ever seen, and just do a few little um, circles around in there. Now I am going to leave this one as it is, and I will mess with the top when I um, finish the second one. I want to just make sure that I have everything that I need for her soap first before I go and finish um, at the top on that one. Okay, so what she had in mind for um, her custom soap was to have basically um, just yellow and white 
or yellow and brown stripes up the mold and then have the green on the top like leaves. She did mention that she wanted some white or cream. So I'm going to be doing kind of like a drop pour um, with the yellow and the white just so there is some you know, like kind of subtle swirls within the layers. So it's not just a plain layer of yellow and brown. I think it'll just add a lot, you know. So let me just do a quick go around. And it is thickening up pretty good. So I'm going to start with some white and yellow. A nice little base there. And the brown is quite thick, so let me, I'm going to get it with this little spoon and try to do a little bit of a layer without breaking through much. And I also want it to be pretty thin, so. So that's good, and then I'm going to go in with more of the yellow and white, and I'm going to pour it in slowly so it doesn't break through. So I'm going to stop right here with it and I'm going to move on to the hanger. Now I didn't want to get um, too heavy with the brown because I really didn't want this to be so heavy on the brown. I really just wanted it to be, you know, just like the accent in there. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so now the, um, the pattern that she wanted was kind of skinny, up and down, so it's kind of streaking and pulling that brown throughout the layers, and hopefully going to give a pretty neat little pineapple appearance. That would be really cool. And I'm going to go ahead and go back through it one more time just because it is thick and I want to make sure that we get a good, you know, mix of the colors in there. And so now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of this to kind of just cover over the top. And then I will um, finish the other loaf that I had. Um, kind of hanging out on the side waiting for this one to finish. I didn't want to um, not have enough soap to, to do what I wanted to do on this one. So I'll go back to that one while I'll wait for um, my piping, the green that I have here left over, um, to kind of set up so I can pipe what will hopefully, hopefully look like leaves. Okay, so now let's get back to this. Now what I'm going to do here is just take the kind of light white and yellow and stick it in this yellow. Thank you. 
All right, everybody. So we're back, and the um, soap is set up really nice. Now I just um, put a little bit of um, rubbing alcohol on this and this one to prevent soda ash. This is the way that, oh man, it's really warm. This fragrance is heating up, so this one will probably go through gel and be a nice, um, nice gelled soap. But this is the way that this one turned out. I like that top. It actually reminds me of a pineapple. And this one, she wanted, um, like, green foliage, you know, like the pineapple leaves on the top. So um, now the only problem with that is that soap is not, um, it's, it's hard to get soap to, you know, pile up high. So they're not going to be long, like really long um, leaves like a pineapple, but you'll get the main idea. Now this um, soap has set up it's pretty hard and I ended up switching out to a different leaf tip just because um, the other one just wasn't it just wasn't working it wasn't the right shape it didn't look good I was kind of messing around with it trying to figure out how I would do it and this is the best way that I um, was able to come up with so Jennifer <laughs> um, it's probably not at all what you had in mind, but I think it'll look really cute on the cut bars. So just hopefully you like it. I'm just going to go and pile up lots of green. Right. I think that's actually really cute right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and get some gold glitter on it. She wanted this um, gold halo glitter. You know what? This turned out better than I thought. I was a little bit worried about the green um, leaves on the top because that's just not something that I normally do. And I'm not known as like the best piper in the world. <laughs> So, but I'm actually happy with the way it turned out, and I think um, it's going to be totally appropriate for um, pineapple soap, and when you cut it into bars, I think that the green layer is going to be tall enough to where it's actually going to look um, like, you know, a real, a real pineapple. I think people will get the gist of what we were trying to go for here. So, you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this little fun episode. I had a lot of fun making this custom soap for Jennifer, so thank you so much for um, requesting this and then letting me share it with um, everybody here on YouTube, Jennifer. Alright you guys, I will bring you guys back tomorrow uh, when it's time to give this a cut and we'll see how it turned out. See you guys tomorrow! Alright you guys, here we are back with the white pineapple soaps, and aren't these just the most adorable little loaves you've ever seen? <laughs> It's been a long time since I did the little one pound loaves, but it's really fun to do um, just a two pound batch and split it up into a couple of different little loaves and then um, you could do a couple different techniques. So um, that is what I did here. So first of all, the one that I just did, I love the way the top turned out and the color of this is it looks like a real pineapple. Um, so I'm happy with the way the yellow and the brown turned out. I'm happy with the top of this. I think it's cute. Does it look like pineapple leaves? No, because they're not near long enough. But 
I think it will be tall enough to when it's cut, you will definitely get the picture. So I'm happy so far with the way that they have turned out. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this one first, just because I want to keep the suspense going for, <laughs> for this one. But also because I want to double check um, the spacing on my cutter here and make sure that um, I have it at exactly um, one inch so I get four perfect sized bars. I don't normally cut my soaps at an inch so um, I had to readjust it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. Let's see what it looks like. That's very pretty. That is a really pretty little drop swirl. And it's nice for um, a coconut, not coconut, uh, pineapple soap. The fragrance on this smells outstanding. It, it's very, very nice. I don't think saponification changed the, um, the fragrance at all. Well, that's very pretty. I like the way that that turned out. Oh, and it smells very, very good. So this soap, I tell you, within a few hours, I could have unmolded this soap. It was so um, hard, and it got so hot in the mold that um, it must have just been the fragrance. It definitely gelled. This is a nice, hard, um, gelled soap. This fragrance got really hot, and it... Um, made it get really hard super quick. So um, this is just the back. So that's the way that my little loaf turned out. Now let's go over to the custom one. Oh, I hope it turned out cute. We will find out. I do like the way that it looks. Let me get that a little closer so we can see it all. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I do like the way that that turned out. I'm really glad that I went back the other way because it kind of gave you more of the little V shapes. Now the the green on the top, hmm, it's, it's not the best, but I think you get the picture. You know, it's obvious what I was going for. Um, so Jennifer, I hope... <laughs> I hope this is okay. I hope this is what you had in mind for your uh, pineapple. But I'm happy with the way that it uh, turned out. There's the top. I tell you guys, the yellow is like dead on. Dead on for pineapple. That, that turned out really nice. And it was a lot of fun to pipe too. I haven't, it's been a long time since I've piped. So that was a fun little, little challenge to do. All right, so this is the last little slice right down the middle. Okay. And you can see um, the darker yellow, the white kind of disappeared, I think. Um, the white kind of disappeared due to um, the discoloration. The vanillin in this was like, I think it was 1.60% vanillin, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I think that kind of changed the white to like a more creamy color that's kind of blending in more with the, with the yellow, but that's okay. I think it's the perfect color for a pineapple. So you guys, this is how my little um, soaps turned out both both ones and happy with each one so i hope you guys enjoyed this little fun episode and i will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching bye